The creator is perfect. No, no. Okay. My question is to you. You believe God, he can do absolutely anything. There's nothing he's done. That so why majesty. can't he come to earth for 33 years? The, so I'm saying what he just did. Live on earth for 33 years. You know what he just did? There's two things about That's God. Everything God a little bit. Well, you just think there's two, two, there's two things about God. There's what God is and what God does. So what you just did, you tell me what God does, then you, you tend it to what God is. What God is does not change. What God does... Now I agree with you. I agree with you. Okay, what God does, like God speaks. But does he speak to everyone? No. He spoke to Moses. But he never spoke to, spoke to, he never spoke to me. So there is what we call attribute that of God, which is related to his way. I don't go to... But there's what God you, is... you believe Moses is the only one... He spoke to God directly without, oh, yeah. without, yeah. He spoke to us without Quran. help from yeah, the before, angel Gabriel. Uh, no, I'm talking about specifically. Intervention so, from the angel Gabriel who spoke on God's behalf. Yeah, but before we come to that, sorry, just yeah. But my point, what God is, what God does. What God is doesn't change. Do you agree? I'll give you an example. God is all-knowing. That's right. He, he, he does not befit him to become ignorant. Do you agree? That's right. Okay. God is all-perfect. Does it not befit him to become imperfect? So if God become human, that is a contradiction. Why? Because humans are imperfect and God is perfect. Therefore, that is a contradiction. That doesn't make any sense. You know, ever living. See what I'm saying? So when we say that God doesn't become a man, not because God cannot do it. No, that has nothing to do with God's ability. Rather, if God become human, that is contradiction. Because God is God, human is human. God is ever living, human they die. So if you tell me there is God and human at the same time, that is contradiction which does not exist in the real world, only exists in people's head. Do you agree? That's not a bad argument. So I'm saying a good argument. That's you know what? Argument. I can make I it. I don't say that I agree, but it's a good no, argument. No, but I make it stronger in your Bible. He said, I, the Lord, I do not change. That is in the Bible. I, the Lord, I do not change. So my question to you, if you believe Jesus is God, when Jesus was God, before he became a baby, did he change or not? No. So he was baby before? No, he wasn't a baby before. He was born as a baby. That's what I'm saying. So but he was God. Into flesh, right? But he was God before. That's right, he was. Yeah. So if he was God, then he became a baby, he had to change. But in the Bible, we say, I, the Lord, I do not change. Therefore, this verse clearly invalidates Jesus to be God. Genesis chapter 1, 20, verse 26, when it's saying, now we, shall, now we shall make man in our image. That's implying that there's three voices speaking. No, it's how we read Three voices. Yeah. No, 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 we read. Oh, <laughs> read the verse for yourself. Oh, no, but why not fight? Read the verse for yourself. No, but, uh, sorry, but even, even we, you know what, uh, uh, remember that the first, yeah, yeah, the, the verse is uh, Hebrew. Let's go back to the Hebrew. Right. And Hebrew is known that plural can use for singular. For example, in the Old Testament, in the Torah, God said to Moses, I will send you as Elohim to Pharaoh. That's the name. Elohim is a plural. How many Moses there is? One. So referring to singular. That's what, so, God, that's what God said to Moses yeah. on Mount Sinai in Exodus chapter. That's what I'm saying. That's so what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Elohim sent you. That should be my name for you. No, he said, I, 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 I read that in the Hebrew New Testament. You won't read that in the King James, the NIV. No, it's still, still there. He said, I'll send you as Elohim. Is through that time everybody they called them God if you're powerful? They call you God? No, no, I'm talking about we, we, plural. We is known so We in the Arabic language is like Hebrew. You know, Hebrew, Arabic, Syriac, Aramaic are very similar languages. And we, they use it as what? Out of uh, majesty, greatness. Like in America, even in English, sometimes you say, come check us. I'm talking about myself, you know? Like prestige and high and mighty, you know? So, again, let me ask you. You know God knows everything all the time, correct? If Jesus is God, but if we have to know everything all the time, correct? So the question I will ask you, does Jesus know everything all the time? Of course, he is God. He is God, thank you very much. Let us go read what Jesus said. Huh? Tell me, is he showing the, the passages? Okay, let me just show you the passages. In Mark 13, 32, it shows you that if Jesus knew everything, because you said he knew everything. I spoke to him this one. Let us show him, maybe he, uh, he, uh, he wants to see it. Yeah? 13, 32. But on that day, and hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven or the sun, only the Father. Even Jesus knows the hour. He cannot be God. You know, this verse goes in line with Allah's statement. Allah said, They ask about the hour. Said the hour, the, the hour, it's knowledge with my Lord. Allah said in the Quran, 
ما ينبغي للرحمن او تشانزليت ما ينبغي للرحمن ان يتخذ ولدا اذن بفيت فور ذا موست بينفيسنت تو هاف ا بيج جود سان يو نو سو الله سبحانه وتعالى ماشي في القران بيقول الله منشن يا الله منشن دابا لا جيزس ان از مادر كان بي جود واي كان ياكلان الطعام اي سيت فود يو نو وي الله منشن دا This argument, the Quran is so powerful than any argument. Why? Because anything that needs food, therefore, is what is imperfect. But God is perfect. Therefore, Jesus cannot be God. Because why? He needed. Uh, sorry. Because why? He needed what? Food. He needs provision. That is not the nature of the Creator. What I would advise you, Joseph? Wallahi, this advice to you and to me. No, this life is not a joke. One day we have life. This, this, this life. This life is very precious. Yeah, and one day we have to live this life. There's a lot of people wasting this breath. We're only on this earth for a short time. There's a lot of people. So I'm saying, one day we have to leave it, Joseph. One day you're going to be inside the grave by yourself. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said the Quran, "وَمَا كُنَّا مُعَذِّبِينَ حَتَّى نَبْعَثَ رَسُولًا حَتَّى نَبْعَثَ رَسُولًا." We will never touch. We will never punish anyone until we send the messenger. Islamically speaking, Allah will never punish His people, His servants, until the proof becomes clear to them. If you turn away from the truth and it's clear to you, if you repent, so I'm saying, and repent for you, I'll tell you so. That's good if you go to your mother. But what about the one who gave you life? Why are you not following his prophets? Why are you not following the teaching of his prophets? That's good. It's like someone telling me, you know what? I'm gonna be good to my neighbor. But what does he say? What does he say? He says paradise is at the feet of the mother. I mean, we say, of course, we look after your mother. But remember, the reason that we look after our mothers, first of all, we are human. Second thing, likewise, what? Because the Creator don't told us, yes. But what I was gonna mention that being good to your neighbors, to your parents, that's something good. However, there's something which is greater than that. Be good to the one who gave you life. If I give you two million pounds, what would you say to me? Say thank you. At least. Would you remember me all the time? Of course. But I, yeah, okay, that's what I'm saying. That's a good point. Before people, sorry, sorry, sorry. I will give you two million pounds on the condition of giving you two eyes. Would you do that? I need my eyes. Yeah. eyes. So therefore, the one who gave you eyes, therefore your eyes is more valuable than two million pounds. What about the one who gave you your eyes for free? Why does he thank him in the way before his majesty? Because he's the maker. He's the maker. The maker. A person might say, I'm thanking the creator. But the question, are you thanking him the way he wanted to thank him? For example, if you want to buy a gift for your friend, would you buy a gift that your friend love or the gift that you love? Your friend love. The gift that your friend love. If you care. So I'm saying, if you care, that's true. So likewise, you should worship the Creator the way He loves, not the way you love. And the only way is coming to Islam. I'll think about it. Figure, no too. And it was my pleasure speaking to you. I will give you a book as a gift. That's for you. Thank you. And you do have my number? Yeah. And, uh, Shamsi. Shamsi. Joseph, you see, I don't know about your name. Joseph. The Prophet Joseph.